alrighty. Okay, so hello. So you probably haven't noticed, but I haven't been uploading videos for over a month. And we're just going to have a little catch up because uh, I had a crisis, my first crisis uh, of my booktube career. So, you know, just let's just talk about this. So about two weeks ago I've decided to record a video. Uh, it was a book haul. I've accumulated quite a few books over like past two months, so I felt like it was about time to make the video. And uh, for quite a long time I was dreading making this video and I wasn't sure if it was just making a booktube video or was it just this specific video. So I started recording and kind of in the middle of a take I just <laughs> put the book that I was talking about down and just pressed stop and I was like this is not going to work out. <laughs> so basically what, ha what happened, every single book I was holding up I was just like okay so this is the book that I bought I'm very excited to read it, but I don't know anything about this book. And, you know, it felt silly after some time, so I've decided that I'm not going to record that video. And, yeah, uh, that was the start of my booktube crisis. And, you know, I thought about some things, and uh, I would like to share my thoughts here. This is going to be very chaotic, and I'm sorry, but I feel like um, I might feel better after putting this up and maybe talking to you in the comments. Uh, see how you feel about this. Uh, <laughs> I'm making it bigger than it actually is, but okay. So here's the thing. I don't think I can make book hauls and TBRs <laughs> because I have a few problems with those videos. So first of all, when it comes to TBRs, I am kind of a moody reader. I used to be, uh, I used to stick to my TBRs back in the day when I just got back to reading and I was very excited about the books. Uh, kind of, I was very excited about putting up my TBR and kind of uh, thinking about what books I'm going to read next. And at first I really liked that structure, but over time I uh, just accumulated more books and, you know, uh, I've kind of become a moody reader, a mood reader, so the things that I put on my TBR uh, I didn't necessarily stick to them. And then I started making book TV videos. <laughs> And yeah, my TBR made me stress out because um, when I put things on the internet I suddenly uh, feel like I'm kind of accounted for the things I read. Like the second I put a video on the internet I feel like I have to stick to this TBR. Like I know you're not there making notes what kind of like uh, what I put my on my TBR and uh, like checking at the end of the month uh, during my wrap up if I stick to my TBR. Like I know this isn't what happens. I know that I'm kind of putting pressure on myself. Putting up a TBR and then not sticking to this TBR felt very stressful and I felt a lot of pressure. So I've decided not to do TBRs. And you know, not everyone on BookTube makes TBRs. So I was like, okay, that's fine. I just won't make them. But then the same issue kind of continued with my book hauls. So here's the thing, not sticking to my TBRs is one thing, but another thing is talking about books that I haven't read yet. Like this is a big issue for me, like, like this is the main issue that I have here and kind of uh, this is why I cannot make TBRs and book hauls. Uh, I don't know how to talk about books that I haven't read yet, because I don't actually read blurbs or the synopsis of the books and I don't know, I feel like this is a personal preference and some people do read the blurb, some people don't and I definitely don't. Uh, I actually watched a very interesting video uh, by Olivia Pope, I wanna say, uh, which was called To Blurb or Not To Blurb and I will link it in the description because uh, that was a very interesting discussion video, which I very much recommend you to watch. Um, basically she said, she kind of explained how booktube influenced her reading and specifically not reading the blurbs of books. Okay, so what I'm trying to say is I don't read the blurbs. So basically, obviously I watch booktube, um, so I hear a lot of different big people talking about a lot of different books. And you know, most of them do 
tell you what the book is about before like kind of proceeding to review it or you know whatever so I obviously know some things about the books I buy but uh, for example when I watch videos uh, when I watch someone else's video and they're uh, talking about the synopsis of the book like I'm fine with like one or two sentences about what this what the plot is about uh, if they can kind of start to uh, explain the plot too in-depth I actually tend to uh, kind of fast forward <laughs> Uh, because I really don't need to know too much about the plot. Like, I want to know how you felt about uh, the writing style, the characters, um, you know? So yeah, basically if someone with similar taste to me recommends me a book and says it's a really good book, it's a well-written well book, it's about a topic I'm interested in, uh, you know? Yeah, that's, that's kind of my main problem. I don't know how to talk about books I haven't read yet. And, you know, like I said, it just it feels silly to just hold up a book and say, yeah, this is a book I want to read, I'm very excited. I'm not saying, like, book hauls and TBRs shouldn't be made. Like, just because of my specific reading style, I just don't feel compelled to do those videos. But, you know, uh, everyone is different, so if you're making... Like, I personally do sometimes book, watch book hauls and I sometimes do watch TBRs. It's just, uh, what I'm saying is those videos don't work for me, personally. I feel like I'm not putting up, like, quality content if I'm just showing you books that I don't know anything about. So, yeah, there's that. Uh, I'm not a very creative person, so I'm still trying to figure out what kind of videos I will make in the future. I, I'm definitely going to be uh, putting up my wrap-ups. Uh, I actually had to skip uh, my August wrap-up because I was very busy. But I'm going to film my August and September wrap-up together. Uh, and I'm very much looking forward to it because I finally read some great books and I really can't wait to share with you what I read and what I really enjoyed reading. So yeah, wrap-ups are definitely staying. Um, other than that, I have a few videos... Okay, here's the thing. I have a few videos I would like to film, but I'm someone who... I'm very much a perfectionist, so... For example, I would like to make a video about Jane Austen's books, uh, specifically kind of a ranking of all of her novels. There are two books that I'm, I'm still not sure where I would put them in that ranking. Before I film this video, I would like to read my top three uh, novels by Jane Austen, so, so I'm 100% sure about that ranking. Uh, there's also a video about poetry I would like to make, but I feel like <laughs> I didn't read enough poetry to make that video and I don't have enough knowledge. So again, I'm just... I want to read more before I put up that video. So yeah, uh, if you have any videos for me that would like you would like to see, you can tell me in the comments. <laughs> I feel like reading vlogs would work for me, but I don't have a camera that I would work because my camera is very heavy, it's actually my mom's camera and I don't think I can do vlogs with that but yeah, I'm actually finishing my internship soon and I'm starting my uh, master's degree uh, in October so that's very exciting hopefully uh, you won't have to wait for another video like another month or so yeah, see you soon, bye